transcripts to where if there's any variation, then with the, uh, with the critical apparatus, I can go back, I can dig into it, I know exactly where to find these manuscripts, and that's why you know, one of the, the ways uh, that I found one of the manuscripts uh, that go back to the early, before the fourth century uh, text of John, where there was no John 6, 4, that the words and Passover of the Feast of the Jews had not been forged into the text until after Eusebius invented the ridiculous, completely nonsensical three and a half year ministry in an attempt to understand or an attempt to, uh, what do you say, uh, interpret uh, the Messianic prophecy in the ninth chapter of Daniel. So it appears, because this this manuscript came around around the 13th century, correct? So that, you're that's saying right. that, because some people are arguing that, well, obviously that that verse was in there before the 13th century, and this is the first one to... Certainly. Okay, so how do we answer so that? So it's a family of manuscripts. In other words, it's a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy, because you can't go much before the... That, the see, we don't have any manuscripts of the first four centuries. Mm -hmm. they, they don't exist. They're dust. Okay, so you have copies of copies of copies. So here is one thing that we see. There's John chapter two and three is Passover. John chapter 12 is Passover. If the manuscripts in the first 300 years had another Passover in John 6, 4, right in the middle, none of these the historians for 300 years would have been so stupid as to not understand it would take well over two years to fulfill three Passovers. <laughs>